Tara Monster here, and I like to make things. Today I'll be showing you how I screen print onto the sleeves of my blossom wrap. The technique is pretty unique to my shop, and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's get crafting. The first step is to put the screen into the press and then line up the shirt. Here's the first arm. I use a special clip to secure it to the plate in. And then I do the same thing with the other arm. Making sure that both arms are completely flat. Then I bring down the screen with the designs and make sure that they line up with the arm. Once everything is lined up perfectly, I take a washable marker and I draw lines so that I can put the next shirt in that exact same spot. There we go. Next, I get a squeegee and put the ink in the screen. Blossom pink. I mixed this ink color myself. I actually mix all of the Revival ink colors by hand. It's kind of funny, but I went to Cornish College of the Arts and took a whole semester on color theory. So I really enjoy mixing my own colors. <laughs> it's probably one of my favorite parts of screen printing. tricky when your squeegee is as wide as this one, but with some practice, it gets easier. And now I'm going to push the print. And I will do a second pass, especially since this is the very first print going through the screen. The next ones I'll probably just do one pass. And now let's take a look at our sleeves. They came out beautifully. I must be pretty careful with them until I get them in the dryer because the ink is wet. Let's print another one. where the marks are from before. Making sure there's absolutely no wrinkles. And now to lower the screen. Ready for another print. Love the screen really good. a second one just to make sure all the ink is cleared. And there we go. Two more beautiful sleeves fresh out of the dryer. Cherry blossoms. Next I'll show you how I do the two color print on the front of the blossom wrap. The first thing I do to print this two color job is to spray spray tack down onto the play tin. Then I take one of my existing blossom wraps and place it on there. Next, I bring down the first color and 
line it up with the print on the existing shirt. This is the black color. I always do black first because the blossom pink goes on top of it. My press has some micro registration knobs which make it so that I can move the screen back and forth ever so slightly until I get it perfectly matched up. Almost there. And there we go, it's perfectly registered. And now I'll do the same thing with the next color. There we go. Wow, this one's really close already. to put a blank shirt down and some ink. See the line I drew here? That's where I'm going to line up the edge of the shirt. So I know it's in the same spot. All the wrinkles and the tack will hold the shirt in place. This is the first screen I'm using. This is the branch for the blossoms. And then I spin it around to the second screen I'm using. This is the blossom. We're going to do the black first. And this one is really close to the edge, so I'm definitely going to put some tape down. rotate this around so that this black ink can cure under my flash dryer. I usually let it cure for about 40 seconds and then I rotate it back to where it was and I print the second color. locks into place and we'll print the second color. Good thing we didn't have ink in there yet. Some of the pink blossom ink. Notice how the squeegee I use for this one is a lot smaller. That's always dictated by the width of the print. Top of the black. Ta-da! Now we have our two color print and we'll put it in the conveyor dryer to cure both colors. And the reason why 
we cure the black ink with the flash dryer for 40 seconds before printing the pink is so that the pink screen doesn't stick to the black ink and then the black ink gets all over that screen. It also ensures that the colors don't blend together because the pink is, um, the pink is directly on top of the black and if we didn't cure the black first, uh, some of the areas where they overlap would get muddy. Let's do another one. Here comes our black ink. Put it under the flash dryer. And print the next color. Look at that! And here it is coming out of the dryer for the final cure. You can see it's got its arm prints as well as the two color blossom print. What a masterpiece! <laughs> and just look how fun that is! There's definitely a reason why this is one of my best selling items. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial, please smash that like button and join me tomorrow for another cool video. See you soon. Bye.